Chicago's police union president calls to house migrants in city hall. <laughs> That's great. That's great. You guys know how big their city hall is? Their city hall. Hey, let me show you real quick. Their city hall. Where is it? Bam. Their city hall is so big. It has a garden. It has a courtyard garden on, on the rooftop. We're going to use it for migrants now. Yeah. Thank you, Greg Abbott for um, making this happen. <laughs> this is great, right? Oh, they never complained about it because, you know, migrants don't make their way to black cities. And now we're just dropping them off there. And they're like, oh crap, are they gonna get along? They're not, they're not, okay? It's gonna be an absolute devastation of your communities. Holy crap, man. We keep telling you blacks to stop voting Democrat, but you're like, nah, we want MS-13 and a bunch of Syrian terrorists in our communities. We love it. And we love the ability to not be able to protect our own communities because Ahmad Arbari went down. That's hilarious, man. You guys realize that, right? If, 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 because of the whole Ahmad Arbery situation in uh, Atlanta, okay, he got, he was prowling around a white area. He got beat, he got propelled by three white dudes, and then the three white dudes got life in jail. That now sets precedence for future cases. So in the future, if in the black community you see a, a Syrian, uh, and he's, he doesn't like you guys, and he's snooping around, planting C4, you cannot handle that incident yourself. You have to call the police, and the police have to be willing to take that call. And unfortunately, with all the crime that's going on today and the defunding of cops, I don't think they're going to make it. So, you're just going to have to take your explosion as is, you know? If that if that kaboom goes off, A, you know, a precedence will set. Amar Arbery says you cannot handle it yourself. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. You got to let them just boom right into the crowd right into the the stadium when beyonce's performing and kaboom everyone's gone you have to let that happen can't stop them you know not in the not in georgia not in georgia anyways chicagans chicagans whatever you want to call it are increasingly outraged and justifiably concerned at how the city's leadership is handling the illegal migrant crisis brought on by jb's open borders policy Despite spending over $100 million for, to care for illegals arriving in Chicago, the city is so overwhelmed that police stations have been forced to serve as makeshift shelters. According to the city's Office of Emergency Management and Communications, approximately 1,246 illegals are staying temporarily at police stations. Fraternal Order of Police President John Catanzaro is exasperated with the burden of being placed on officers forced to babysit illegals. On Thursday, Catazara suggested an alternative to using district stations. Move migrants to city hall to sleep in lobbies and open hallways. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's great. Uh, Catanzara says, I don't think there's one single one of them living in city hall. Whether it's, I mean, the city hall is where the people are making these decisions, right? On where to put them, right? So... Whether it's on the county lobby floor or the city hall floor, uh, there's certainly plenty of space to put a couple of hundred in there. But I don't see that that happen. I don't see that happening in their workspace. But they certainly have no problem putting them in our workplace. Why be a hypocrite? Captain Zara, Captain Zara said it was so ridiculous that there's actually mail. Migrants are using police district addresses to receive their mail. They now have CPS out there recruiting migrant children to register for CPS just to have that number in the next two weeks to grab as much tax revenue as they possibly can. The taxes are distributed by population. They're giving these kids, these migrant kids social security numbers, guys. Yeah. Whether these kids came to school or not, they don't care. This is all a big game. Too far, too many people. Wow. So you, in other words, you're saying that you have law-abiding, light-colored people leaving the state, leaving the city because they're being bullied and beat up. And then you're just using these people and their social security numbers to collect tax money uh, for your schools when they're not even going to school. Wow. That's crazy. What a scam, huh? What a scam.